I'm feeling a little bit sick today, so I figured that I'd at least get you guys a tutorial, if not some music, uh, to listen to, even even if I am sick. But uh, we're gonna gonna be moving pretty quick here. I'm just gonna give you some tips that will really help your production out, and they're pretty simple, but they're really easy to learn. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you is how to copy channel states from one channel to another channel so let's say we're on channel 25 here insert 25 either way and we'll just put down like a compressor and an EQ and then we can tweak the EQ to how, however we want tweak the compressor however um, this is just an example and then we'll just rename it and put that okay so let's say that you have this channel set up in a particular way and you don't want to route another channel straight through it um, for some reason because with complex signal routing sometimes you just want to duplicate the plugins rather than route the channel through like in, in the case of track outs or some situ situation like that. So what you can do is you can go to the channel you want to copy, right click it, go to file and then save mixer track state as. Then you click down and hold and you move this over any channel you want and it'll copy it right over. So I'm going to drag this over to like 28 and everything from 25 just went over to 28. All the settings are copied on every plugin it's exactly identical so that's really convenient uh, just if you wanna copy and paste channel strip settings so um, another really convenient thing to do is sometimes you might not wanna take the entire channel so what you can do is you can go over to whatever plugin you're, you wanna copy over click the triangle and then go down to save preset as click and drag that and move that to whatever channel you want so I'll move that to 35 and because we're just copying the plugin it's not going to rename the channel but you're going to see this EQ on insert 35 is going to have the exact same settings as whatever channel you dragged it from so that's really convenient uh, saves a heck of a lot of time when you're doing complex routing with signals and crazy experiments and stuff like that <coughs> so that covers that noise and um, I'm just gonna show you this other tip really quick uh, it's this it's a program called grapevine it's called an FL studio enhancer I actually got this tip I wanna say about a year ago um, from I am Vine just on his Facebook page so shout out to Vine the producer for giving giving us all this tip and um, I'm just repeating it here for you but what this program does is it's an external program that allows you to have like Pro Tools style mixer groups so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start it up over here and it's it's only 999 so it's extremely cheap for what it does. So let's say you're you're mixing a track down, you're working on it, working on your track, and you have your gain settings all at different places and but the mix is just right. You just need to bring everything up a little bit and you don't want to route everything through like a sub mix or something like that. What you can do here is turn on a group and then look at what channels you want so we want 20 through 24 you can just go down to 20 hold down shift to 24 and that'll automatically create a group you can also hold like control and select individual channels which is really really cool and convenient so what happens is it mathematically keeps the ratios I guess of all your faders equal to one another of whatever group it's in um, it's really really nice for mixing really convenient and it just saves a heck of a lot of time so I I know this first video 
uh, definitely went over two minutes and it's just because this is the first one but like I said I'm I'm gonna try and make these as quick as possible just so that people can get to the meat of the information quickly and um, if, if you're new to the channel or if you're not new to the channel please uh, like and favorite these vids it helps my channel survive and keep going so uh, there's gonna be a lot more of these in the future just cause many tutorials like this are really easy and I, I think you guys will enjoy them but I'm gonna cut this video off now it's probably at like seven minutes or something like that but uh, peace out and thank you for watching